So after 22 years of training jiu-jitsu, if I ever had a dollar, or if someone gave me a dollar for every time somebody said something like, hey man, like, I really wanna try this jiu-jitsu thing, but I think I need to get in shape first. Like, there's never gonna be a good time to start jiu-jitsu. You, there's never anything you can do to prepare yourself for jiu-jitsu, you just need to get started. Or maybe you said things like, before I go to a gym, before I get in shape, like before I do X, I need to do Y. When in reality, it's never gonna be a good time. And if we continue with that mindset, we're gonna be in for a rough ride. If we've ever fallen into the mindset of, you know, I'm super stressed out, I'm trying, you know, I can't do all these things, and I'm just, I'm no longer going to try to like force my life to fit this thing. Like, I'm no longer gonna try to force my life to do this eating plan or workout routine or whatever that is. But we're gonna be in for a rough ride because it's never gonna be a good time to get in shape, never gonna be a good time to start eating healthy, never gonna be a good time to start a family, never gonna be a good time to start a business, never gonna be a good time to start jujitsu. You just kinda need to get started. Life is never going to fit your current situation. It can be a hard pill to swallow, but you actually have to adapt your life to your circumstances. What do we call that? We call that rolling with the punches, right? And it reminded me of a, I was listening to a podcast the other day, and it, one of the little snippets was from Les Brown, famous motivational speaker, and he was talking about, about your goals and about taking action on them and not taking action on them. He told this story and he said, he says, imagine you're on your deathbed and like the soul, the souls of your, or the souls of your goals and dreams are surrounded around your deathbed, right? These are all the ideas, the goals that you had, the aspirations that you had, but you never did anything with them. So on your deathbed, the souls of your goals and dreams are surrounded by your bed and they tell you, we came to you to give us life and you are the only one who could have given us life, but you did nothing. And now, all of us, all of, our, all of your ideas, all of your unfulfilled goals that you had, we now have to die with you. So what goals, what dreams, what aspirations do you have that you're not taking action on that could have a greater impact on the world, have a greater impact on your family? Things that you're not taking action on. Because at the end of the day, it's not about you. Strength training is not about you. It's about building a stronger and more capable body so you can serve your family. Building your career, advancing your career, starting the business has nothing to do with you. It's about creating a legacy and leaving something for your family. So the same question Les Brown asked at the end of his presentation, I ask you, what goals, what aspirations, if you don't take action on them because it's not the right time because you don't want to fit your life around these goals. What goals and what aspirations will die with you? Don't wait for life to adjust to your goals and just get started. If this video helped you out, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications for more busy dad string training tips. And if you need support around building a stronger and more capable body so you can do more of what you enjoy, Click the link in the description section and download your free four-week strength program.